Was that you asking me? Yeah. Oh, it's on. Oh, there you go. That's awkward, isn't it? Let's let's start. Let's start this 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 hype. This YouTube clip of me going. Are we on yet? Is it going to start? Oh, go and see that goof show. He knows what he's doing. Right. So, you know, my show is called The Phantom, and it's at the caves, just the tonic, the caves, which is one of the dankest holes you can possibly imagine. But it has a charm, and it's there at uh, 9:20 p.m. Uh, every night at the festival, with the exception of the 14th, but by the time this is all finished, that'll have passed. So yeah, come and see. Never. Never. Well, if you, unless you count doing like odds and sods, like 10 minutes here and half hour there, but never actually coming up and doing a show for the whole thing as a run. So that's quite lovely. So I'm enjoying what's, that. What's it like? Oh, mate, it's magnificent. I'm loving every second of it. Um, you get to do what you want, when you want. You know, they've come to see you, so you haven't got to try and do that winning them over thing. And yeah, I'm enjoying it very much. It's making me very happy. Skint, but very happy. I would like to say that I'm, uh, that I'm as, as creative as I've been here all the time, but the truth is, I'm not. Because you've got, you know, you, you, when you've got drunks or you've got whatever, you know, you, you play the audience you're presented with, and, and hopefully most of the time they're your audience and they want to hear what you've got to say, but sometimes they're not, and you have to, do you know what I mean? You have a responsibility to kind of make them, at least try to make them enjoy it. I've got no time for that thing of, uh, you don't get my art, so I'm going to kind of be just really good. You know I mean? You've got, they paid money, man. You've got to try and make them happy. And hopefully you can make them happy in a way that you want to, but if you can't, I still, I personally still feel that I've got to try. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, no, I'm a bit waffly. It's weird up here, because this shows a story. It's one story that kind of has bits going off of it, but it's essentially one, it's the story of un unrequited love. It's about me, uh, the truth of me falling in love with someone who didn't um, reciprocate. And, um, but, um, so, uh, some nights they laugh all the way through it, but some nights they actually get caught up in the story. And you can see them sitting like this, like, and then what happened? And then what happened? And you're kind of, uh, it's odd, do you know what I mean? And then they go, and at the end they go kind of big, Way! but then, and then other nights they laugh all the way through it. And, yeah, but people are enjoying it, which is what I quite, I'm quite happy about. I mean, I've had one night when I walked out, and it was just one night in the run when I walked out, and it was literally this. And I was like, should we try that again, ladies? Let's get an atmosphere going in the room. I'll, I'll come back on. You all applaud. We'll start the show. Went off, came back on. No, did the whole thing, got to the end, and then they all come up to me afterwards. Oh, that was the best thing you've ever seen. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know now. Could you maybe... What? <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, that was odd. And that weird thing where you write it off in your head, next day you get the review, four stars. And what? <laughs> Do you know what, again, I wish, I came up here thinking I was going to be the Zen master. You know, I, I really did, I thought, because Orson Welles, I'm a big Orson, Orson Welles fan, and his big thing was you never ever read a review, good or bad, because as soon as you start doing that, then you're writing for a critic and not for an audience. So you don't, I, I'm trying to be like, you know, you know, kind of come up here and uh, I'm not going to read any reviews, I intend to just be Orson Welles about this. But then they start sticking them on your poster. So you can't not, do you know what I mean? Because you turn up at your venue and, and they've stuck, and, and thank you, you know, they've been favourable. I'm guessing there are some stinkers out there because they don't, they don't make it to the poster, obviously, so it's kind of, but yeah, so it's been hard to avoid them. And I, and I you know, it's, it's very weird. I'm, I'm trying very hard to maintain my Zen thing. You know, you get these guys who are too cool to, to um, admit they actually want to get somewhere. I'm not, I want to get somewhere. You know what I mean? I'd love to get somewhere, so that's what I'm actively working towards. So there's a little bit of um, nerves around, um, I'd, just, I'd like a nice agent to see this, I'd like, you know, some festival, it'd be nice for some TV people sort of, you know what I mean? I'm not going to pretend that I don't want that. I know you're supposed to do that, but I, I can't, I do want to, so that's obviously somewhere in your mind giving you a little bit of stress, but then the other side of it is the audience, you want them to have a good time and love it, and, and um, so far they have, so that's kind of a, a good thing. So, if you met somebody on the street for a minute and you had to sell your show, tell them why this has come, what would you tell them? Um, I would show them my bank balance. <laughs> I would, uh, tears would be shed. I'd probably drop to my knees. Um, no, I'd, I'd tell them, what would I tell them? It's a, it's a good story, it's fun, people like it. You might like it, it's cheap. Um, and, um, yeah, come or don't. Do you know what I mean, that's the, that ultimately, that's the thing, isn't it? You can't make someone come to your show, they're going to come or they're not. But if you come, I'm sure you'll enjoy it and we'll have a good time. So come. There you are. Come to the caves at 9.20 p.m. Come see the Phantom. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. All the best.